I would like to yield five minutes to the author of this legislation, Mr. Rothfuss of Pennsylvania. The gentleman is recognized for five minutes. I thank the chairman for yielding, and I thank him for the support that he and the Energy and Commerce Committee have expressed for H.R. 3797, the Satisfying Energy Needs while saving and Saving the Environment Act, also known as the Sense Act. The Sense Act is a vitally important effort that I have championed in various forms for nearly my three years in Congress. This bill recognizes the overwhelming success of the endangered coal refuse to energy industry in making my district in Western Pennsylvania and others across coal country healthier and cleaner places to work and live. Without the Sense Act, coal refuse to energy facilities will close and their environmental remediation efforts will end. Contrary to the claims of this legislation's supposedly environmentalist opponents, the Sense Act is a pro-environment bill. As many of you know, the coal industry has been important, a, an important part of the economy in Pennsylvania for many generations. Historic mining activity unfortunately left behind large piles of coal refuse. These piles consist of lower quality coal mixed with rock and dirt. For a long time, we did not have the technology to use this material, so it accumulated in large piles in cities and towns, close to schools and neighborhoods, and in fields across the countryside. This has led to a number of environmental problems that diminish the quality of life for many people in the surrounding areas. Vegetation and wildlife have been harmed, the air has been polluted, and acid mine drainage has impaired nearby rivers and streams. I have been to many of these sites and seen firsthand the environmental danger they, they pose. Coal refuse piles can catch fire, causing dangerous and uncontrolled air pollution. Runoff from these sites can turn river rivers orange and leave them devoid of life. The cost to, to, cl to clean all this up is astronomical. Pennsylvania's environmental regulator estimates that fixing abandoned mine lands could take over $16 billion dollars two billion of which would be needed for coal refuse piles alone. We needed an innovative solution to this tough challenge. A common sense compromise was necessary to get the job done and protect the environment. That is where the coal refuse to energy industry comes in. Using advanced technology, this industry has been able to use this previously worthless material to generate electricity. This activity powers remediation efforts that have so far been successful in removing over 200 million tons of coal refuse and repairing formerly polluted sites across the Commonwealth and in other historic coal regions. Thanks to the hard work of the dedicated people in this industry, landscapes have been restored, rivers and streams have been brought back to life, and towns across coal country have been relieved of unsafe and unsightly waste coal piles. And they do say a picture paints a thousand words, and that's what I have here. In the foreground is you have a waste coal pile that is under the process of remediation. In the background on the green hillside used to look just like the, the black foreground that you see here. This has been reclaimed. This is what's happening across Pennsylvania as we restore these hillsides. It's important to note that private sector leadership on this issue has saved taxpayers millions of dollars in cleanup costs. That is why Pennsylvania's abandoned mine reclamation groups have endorsed my bill. And that is why we have also earned the support of clean water advocates. Unfortunately, intensifying and inflexible EPA regulations threaten to bring much of the coal refuse industry's activity to a halt. This would leave billions of dollars of vital cleanup unfinished, lead to thousands of job losses, and endanger our energy security. The Sense Act addresses challenges arising from the impl implementation of two existing rules. MATS, the Mercury and Air Toxic Standards, and CASPER, known as the Cross-State Air Pollution Rule. Though all coal refuse fired power generators can meet, can meet the mercury standard under MATS, many facilities will be unable to meet the rule's new hydrogen chloride or sulfide dioxide standards. Contrary to what critics allege, the Sense Act simply provides operators with alternative MATS compliance standards that are strict but achievable. Similarly, Although coal, coal refuse fired power generators, generators were provided sufficient sulfur dioxide allocations in phase one of CASPER's implementation, these facilities were, facilities were allocated insufficient credits in phase two, which is set to begin in 2017. 
The Sense Act seeks to provide coal refuse fired power generators with the same allocation levels in phase two as in phase one. My bill also contains provisions to ensure that this change does not simply create a profit center for the industry. Credits allocated as a result of the Sense Act's implementation must go to covered plants, specifically those that use bituminous coal refuse, and they cannot be sold off to other operators. I'd like to yield the gentleman an additional minute. Gentleman is recognized for an additional minute. I thank the chairman. In the last Congress, I merely attempted to exempt these facilities from MATS compliance with SO2 and HCL. Building on my efforts, Senators Toomey and Casey from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania offered a bipartisan amendment providing similar treatment for these plants within the context of both MATS and CASPER. While this proposal was supported by a bipartisan majority of senators, it failed to achieve the supermajority necessary to pass. What we are looking to achieve today is much narrower and far more limited than our effort in the last Congress, which received bipartisan support. This should not be a controversial or partisan issue. We want to hold this industry to high standards, but standards that they can actually achieve. My bill will help keep the coal refuse industry in business so that the local community, economy, and environment will continue to reap the benefits. The people who live near coal refuse piles and all the communities downstream of these hazards expect us to find a solution. I thank the chairman for his time and, and, and cooperation with this vital piece of legislation.